Scorpio Monthly Horoscope, October 23rd to November 21st, month of December the shadows are dissipating, Scorpio, and you're starting to come into the light. This was a majorly transitional year for you, especially in the first half, and your relationships in particular have gone through an evolution. Now, as 2023 comes to a close, you're ready to close this chapter and begin writing a new one. The first half of December could help you lay the foundation for that. As the Sun and Go-Getter Mars march through Sagittarius and your second house of stability and values, you could get really clear on your priorities for 2024 and beyond. Use the December 12th Sagittarius new moon to start spelling them out. This new moon could also bring a money-making opportunity or spark the urge to tweak your budget before you splurge on last-minute gifts. Right after the new moon, the tone of the month changes. From December 13th until January 1st, Communicator Mercury will turn retrograde, an ill-timed disruption to the festive season that could add friction to your holiday plans. Mercury will reverse through Capricorn and your social third house until December 23rd. After that, it will back into Sagittarius and your money sector until the beginning of 2024, locking down your finances a bit. Christmas could have an intense energy for you with the moon in Gemini and your intimate eighth house. If you have the choice, opt for a private or small celebration. And if you don't, choose your seat at the table with care. You'll be more in the mood for a meaningful one-on-one -on -one conversation than a boisterous group competing for airtime. The day after Christmas, December 26, brings the year's final full moon. La Luna will be in Cancer and your visionary, No Limits Ninth House. It's the perfect moment to make your first round of 2024 intentions as you'll view the next year through the most optimistic lens. With Healer Feeler Chiron ending a five-month retrograde today, you'll be in the mood to start planning and inviting people to be part of your schemes and dreams. One of those people could turn out to be an amazing plus one, if not a loyal companion. Lucky Jupiter will end a four-month retrograde on December 30th powering forward through your relationship house all the way until May 25, 2024. You'll have the next five months to attract amazing supporters and sidekicks or to make a relationship official. Break out the party hats, confetti, and noisemakers. On New Year's Eve, the moon will be in Virgo and your 11th house of group activity. The stage is set for a celebration with as many friends, and friends-to-be, as you can bear to be around, Scorpio. You've got so much to look forward to in 2024 and many people to be grateful for as you usher out 2023. Gather round, create your visions, and welcome in a brand new year. It's Sagittarius season until December 21 prosperity, incoming. Until December 21st, the sun is in Sagittarius, revving up your revenue as it visits your second house of self-worth and money. With Motivator Mars, your co-ruler, also burning through Sagittarius this entire month, you're primed for a payout before the year is through. You'll also have the confidence to ask for that bonus or to raise your rates, especially if you're charging less than you're worth. As nice as it is to make extra income, anxious Mars can tempt you to burn that cash as fast as you earn it. Easy does it, Scorpio. Yes, there are holiday gifts to buy and lots of great sales, but you'll also feel great if you establish a consistent budget and add some padding to your nest egg. While we're all in this reflective end-of-year mode, think about what gives you stability, is it a steady paycheck? A job that brings out your happiest, most confident side? A habit of socking away 10% or more of your earnings into a savings account? Prioritize the essentials based on what makes you feel most grounded and what aligns with your values. Tweak your day-to-day -day routine to create more ease. Neptune retrograde ends on December 6, hang all the mistletoe. On December 6, foggy Neptune ends a five-month retrograde in your fifth house of love, clearing up confusion and drama in your romance sector. Haven't been sure whether to stay or go? Neptune's direct turn will help you get clearer about your emotions and where to direct them. If a creative project stalled or went off the rails, you'll get your focus back. Use some of the holiday time off to reconnect with your artistic talents The December 12th Sagittarius New Moon brings money Have you been wanting to raise your rates, ask for a promotion or prospect for new clients? Don't wait until the new year to get the wheels in motion, at least in a preliminary way. 
On December 12th, the Sagittarius new moon sets off a prosperous six-month cycle for your finances. Although Mercury retrograde may throw you a curveball tomorrow, don't let it stop you from putting plans in place for how you'll raise your revenue in 2024. Soon enough, you'll feel the abundance flowing. With the practical new moon in a favorable trine to the Aries North node, your planning powers are at their prime. Write a first draft of your 2024 resolutions, along with a checklist of all the things you want to get done before the holidays. Looking for a new job, a promotion, or a higher pay grade? Schedule a performance or salary review for early next year to position yourself for that. With Mercury turning retrograde tomorrow, more on that in a minute, use the rest of the year to make a solid case, like updating your LinkedIn profile or portfolio. Mercury turns retrograde on December 13 another reason to pause before you put yourself out there? On December 13, Mercury turns retrograde, messing with communication, travel, and technology until January 1. While the new moon could spark conversations and ideas, this planetary pause gives you a moment to assess your options. Don't let anyone pressure you into accepting a job offer or giving them a firm answer on anything until you're ready. Until December 23rd, Mercury is retrograde in Capricorn and your third house of communication, a signal scrambling time when major decisions are not advised. Technology, travel, and interpersonal affairs could all get turned upside down now. If you have even the smallest amount of uncertainty, press pause and conduct due diligence. Chances are this is a major decision, not one to take lightly. You can't worry about hurting people's feelings or losing an opportunity, if you're going to commit 100% to something, you want to be totally sure it's the right thing to do. From December 23rd on, Mercury will back through Sagittarius and your money house. Keep tabs on your bank accounts and guard against phishing scams and identity theft. Work could throw you a curveball right before Christmas. Do what you can early in the month to get everything squared away so you don't end up with an administrative mess to clean up or having to cover for an MIA coworker. Did you underestimate your gifting budget? You might need to pare down your list or save some of those pricier purchases for birthdays or other holidays this year instead of blowing through your cash at once. Awkward as it may feel, an honest conversation about spending limits can save you the stress and might relieve the other party, who could be feeling tense for the very same reason. The sun enters Capricorn on December 21st, winter solstice, feeling frustrated by the retrograde? Luckily, the sun will start a month-long foray through Capricorn and your interactive third house on December 21st, setting the stage for you to talk things through. Hash out whatever's on your mind, or press pause and go out and have some fun. With the sun in this social sector, you need a respite from all the hard work you've been doing. Mercury retrograde is a favorable time for reunions, so go meet up with old friends and former colleagues. Siblings and neighbors are ruled by the third house, and the next four weeks could emphasize these relationships or inspire you to get involved in your local community. Grab a journal or keep your notes app handy. You could have some inspired ideas out of the blue that you'll want to capture before you get distracted and forget them. The December 26th Cancer Full Moon widens your horizon's fortune favors you this Christmas, Scorpio. On December 26th, the skies bring a flood of inspiration as the Cancer Full Moon illuminates your ninth house of travel, entrepreneurship and visionary ideas. You're thinking bigger than big, and Lady Luck is on your side if you decide to take a bold risk. This is actually the second Cancer Full Moon of 2023. The first one was on January 6, bookending the year with two powerful portals into your highest potential. Look back to how you started the year. You could revisit some of the grand plans that you didn't get around to starting or finishing. It's never too late. Jupiter Retrograde ends on December 30 Relationship Revival. Right before the calendar turns, your closest ties get a major boost. On December 30th, expansive Jupiter will end a four-month retrograde in Taurus and your partnership house that began on September 4th. Since then, you may have hit a plateau with an exciting connection. Jupiter is in Taurus from May 16, 2023, until May 25, 204, a year-long cycle that only happens once every 12 years. 
you're growing by leaps and bounds in your interpersonal affairs, either by experimenting with different types of people or commitments, or by becoming more open and supportive as a partner. Over the next five months, single Scorpios could meet someone with long-term potential that you're actually really into. With global Jupiter at the helm, you could meet them while one of you is traveling. You might even relocate for love or consider a long-distance relationship. If you've been disappointed by a breakup and are still dwelling on it, Jupiter's direct turn will help you gain perspective and appreciation for this person. You learned so much and grew as a person, and that's what really counts. Coupled Scorpios could have a renaissance period filled with travel, studies, and rekindled curiosity about each other. No matter how long you've been together, there's always more to discover, and if you don't believe us, book an adventurous trip somewhere neither of you has ever been. Globetrotting Jupiter will happily play travel agent. Or class equals backslash body a link standard body a link backslash try the scientifically proven method of love regulation. A study found that people who looked at a picture of a current or past partner while thinking positive thoughts reported feeling more attached to that person. So if you're seeking relationship repair, tap into optimistic Jupiter's powers and think grateful thoughts. With Charm Magnet Venus in your sign December 4th through 29, you'll be tapping into a bottomless well of charisma, allure, and flirtatiousness. In your first house, the amorous planet helps you stand out from the crowd, so indulge that desire to dress up and be a bit more flamboyant than usual with your look. You'll feel bold and unleashed and won't be able to avoid turning heads wherever you roam. Attached? Own your role as a power couple and model positive action for others to emulate. Your energy levels won't be flagging on any fronts, not with energetic Mars racing through passionate Scorpio and your sensual second house all month. From upscale holiday dates and party going to luxurious gift gifting, you'll go all in on everything you turn your attention to now. Stay alert though, couples may argue about money or feel the weightiness of work deadlines cutting into your precious personal time. You could be logging such late hours that when you get finally get home, you utterly crash. With Mercury retrograde from December 13th to January 1st, bickering could get out of hand and misunderstandings can turn into much bigger dramas than they need to be. On December 29th, Venus undergoes a sea change in sails into Sagittarius and your second house of practical luxury. You'll know exactly how to spend that holiday bonus, or the nuts you've been squirreling away all year, and it won't only be on after Christmas white sales. Think quality over quantity, whether you're shopping for retail deals or a new relationship. The news gets even better as we inch toward New Year's Eve. Lucky and adventurous Jupiter ends a four-month retrograde in your partnership house on December 30th. You'll be poised to go into 2024 with an optimistic attitude. The stars are aligned to bring playfulness back to a current relationship or to draw an intriguing new type into your orbit. Roll up your sleeves and finish the year strong. The sun is marching through Sagittarius and your productive second house until December 21st, spotlighting work and money. You've got a lot to accomplish before the year is done, and it could get overwhelming if you don't put some systems in place. Think about the little things you can do to break down your larger goals into smaller chunks. And add some pleasure to these tasks, play music, light candles, reward yourself for meeting milestones. The sensual second house is about enjoying the moment, even when you're going through the motions. But you're not likely to stop and smell the poinsettias for long. Go-getter Mars is blazing through Sagittarius your second house of work and finances until January 4th, boosting your productivity and prompting you to put a better savings plan in place. Make some audacious year-end money moves. On December 12th, the Sagittarius new moon lands in your work and money house, opening the door to new opportunities that will unfold in the coming six months. Heads up, meticulous Mercury will be retrograde from December 13th to January 1st, which could scramble signals and cause technology breakdowns. Check your statements and receipts, there could be glaring errors. A few important details might just slip through the cracks if you're not careful. Double-check your work and do extra prep work for any important pitches and presentations until the trickster planet corrects its course on New Year's Day, Love Days, 18, 22 Money Days, 29, 12 Luck Days, 26, 9 Off Days, 19, 25, 7, 